this is Dark Monster Moon 87 here, and right now I am trying out Ninja Gaiden 3 Razor's Edge, and the game is pretty damn awesome. The graphics are very upgraded. Also, there's a lot of new features added. It reminds me of Ninja Gaiden 2, to be honest with you, because there's a whole bunch of new weapons. You can use Ayane, um, Moiji, and one of the DOA 5 characters will be playable. I don't know when exactly, but when I do find out that information, I will let everybody know. Here's a few new features that's in this game that I will be showing you all right about now. So let's get this all started. Well, as you see right here, you can level up the weapons. You couldn't do that in the Ninja Gaiden 3 game for PlayStation 3, which was kind of disappointing, to be honest with you. But in this game, for the Wii U, you actually can. I just got these talons right now after defeating all those enemies and saving when the eagle dropped by or a hawk, whatever the fuck it is. Then you have the sword, dragon sword. Everybody knows what that is already. And you basically gather karma points when you kill the enemies and everything. So I'm guessing when you kill a boss, you gain a lot of karma points. These are the upgrades you get. Which is pretty badass. Then you have the Nimpo. And from what I noticed, the Nimpo's pretty good it the first nimpo that i've seen so far while playing this was the ninja gaiden 2 version the fireballs that hit the enemies it wasn't like ninja gaiden 3 for the playstation 3 where that big ass dragon appeared and just had everybody frightened now they have different types of nimpo so that's pretty cool there's also costumes too as you see right there on the screen so I'm not gonna waste any time I'm gonna go ahead and battle oh, this truck is coming after me And the gore, this game is way more gory than the PlayStation 3 version. The graphics are excellent. So far, there's no type of lag as I'm playing right now. Which, this game is looking very beautiful right now. Mr. Hack and Slash is actually slashing the hell out of everybody in the stage right now. Whoa. I have to get used to the controls though. Limpo. See what I mean? You can aim it and everything just like Ninja Gaiden 2. So I love the fact that you have the Ninja Gaiden 2 feel in this game. Cause I'm not gonna lie, I was a huge like gamer when it came to the Ninja Gaiden 2 game when it first came out and that game I completely destroyed that game so best believe I'm gonna destroy this one like I did with the PlayStation 3 Ninja Gaiden 3 except now this is Razor's Edge and you will see brand new weapons the depths are very epic from what I'm looking at Starting to get the hang of the buttons a little bit before I was a little off. Yeah, the enemies are a lot harder than Ninja Gaiden 3 for PlayStation 3. I can tell you all that right now. So, for those of you that are like, oh, this Ninja Gaiden 3 was easy, the enemies on the Wii U version are a lot harder. Which is kind of surprising to me because usually Nintendo tape games. Not all their games are hard. There's only like a few games that are very difficult. But this is actually pretty fun. 
Oh, he's crawling. Aw, oh, that sucks so bad. That was luck. <laughs> that was luck. Whoa, I hear an explosion. Yeah. I knew it was something because it was just too good to be true. Well, the helicopter saved my life. Will he wipe the claws? Yes, he does. Let's get a close up of Ryu Hayabusa. And 1080p. Okay. Hold on, am I going the right way? Yeah, I'm, go I'm supposed to be going this way. <laughs> Almost went the wrong way. Whoa. Damn, this is up. Trying to take this guy out first. I gotta find a block button on here. I think it's the, the evade button also. Yeah, he's a goner. Yeah, it's the evade button. Alright, I have to be very silent like a ninja in order to clear this stage. So, shh, be very quiet. That Masamune 87 has to take these guys out. Another thing, when he's like in his ninja mode, his body basically camouflages that, which I noticed also. I noticed a lot of things in this game. And for those of you that played the Ninja Gaiden series, you will also notice a lot of changes also. I think they're pretty awesome changes, to be honest with you. Gives it more of a ninja feel. So shout out to Tecmo Koei for making such an awesome game. And I'm being very quiet because there's so many damn beams. I'm getting closer. Whoa, I almost got caught. <laughs> almost got caught. Somebody over there. Trying to tiptoe. Feels like that movie, Ninja Assassin. Anybody ever watched that movie? I seen it last week again because I have it on DVD. And that movie is just crazy. The way everybody just gets killed and everything. Oh, change camera angles. Oh, this boss has a flamethrower now. But he added a flamethrower to him. That's pretty damn crazy. So, the beginning boss is a lot harder. Which is insane, but in a way that's good. Uh, that's one leg. That electricity just sucks. Oh. Try to evade, try to evade. Try to evade. Try to evade. And everything in half right now. So he's pretty much going all out on attacks. Whoa. Whoa, mama. Okay. This boss is really pissed right now. more leg I'm trying to get to it <laughs> giving me a hard damn time right now oh ah don't lose damn it fuck
Yeah, they added a flamethrower and everything to this boss. And he's just being a douche right now. <laughs> There we go. Just a sword. Amazing. Jesus, and he takes a lot of damn help. Whoa. <laughs> this is the first time in history I've died twice. In <laughs> a Tecmo Koei game. Get out of there, Hayabusa. Regroup. It's all good. It happens. I just have to get used to the controls. Come on. There we go. Alright, I'm doing a lot better than before. Dodge to the side. Whoa. Come on. Oh, mama. Got it. Yes. I can't believe it's still moving. Where you got your booster? Come on, you can't. You got to Mother. I'm trying to dodge all this. This is such bullshit. Not the missiles or something else. Machine gun torrents. He really doesn't want me getting after his leg. Oh, come on, dodge. Yes. Yes, finally. He has one more spot left. And I win. Hooray! <laughs> I was not going to take another death again. I said, hell no. So as you notice right there, the boss is a lot harder than Ninja Gaiden 3 for the PlayStation 3 version. So yeah, in the beginning when I saved, in the first part, I got these weapons right here. And they're pretty badass. It's good that they give them to you in the beginning and everything. Just trying to stay alive. There you go. They just keep getting in the corner, so not my fault you guys get past <laughs> hack and slash to death wow that was a beautiful death move I just shoved my leg straight through his gut that was pretty cool Yeah, the, the enemies just gather up on you. I know this too. So this game, the difficulties increase. Even on its normal mode, which is pretty good. That's letting everybody know that the game is pretty challenging. And it's going to be worth the money being spent on it. Whoa, I just threw some Fei Long fly kick at him. Ripped his arms right off. Let me find some targets. And they're goners. So there's the charge combo from Ninja Gaiden 2, I noticed that you can do. 
I actually felt bad for that guy that was just on the floor right there. If you notice, he just got pretty messed up. Let me just throw this dagger. Oh! <laughs> I just have to reenact some of the things that go on in this game. So, so far everything's on point. No, we can't Which I love so far. Watch yourself Cuz sometimes there's games out there that lag and everything when they first come out and they need major updates. But so far so good. I'm going on. And I'm having a very good time. I wonder, out of all my subs and viewers and everything, wow, see, this is new right here. This battle with all these guys waiting in this room, this is something new. So they pretty much made some add-ons and everything. From what I see right here, and that's pretty interesting. So, I was, I was saying, from all my subs and viewers, who out there loves Ninja Gator? I mean, from the classics all the way to the new, I've played every single Ninja Gaiden game ever, even for regular Nintendo. So that's letting you know I like the game a lot. Let's see, is there any... Receive a more powerful blessing. Oh, well, I thought that was still on the floor. I'm like, okay, something's not right. <laughs> hey, I am not complaining. Wow. Give me a nice little fight. Trying to watch it, this enemy right here shooting at me is trying to set me up. Man, you should be helping your brother that just got ripped in pieces. Let's take that shield off, fight like a man. There you go. Not even a doctor is going to be able to fix your shoulders. Thank you for the help. I appreciate it. The graphic quality is so amazing. I, I'm just like... Out of words, like it looks, looks so realistic. And, get straight to the killing. Shall we? and this battle is gonna be pretty crazy, ladies and gentlemen. We'll survive. He's pretty much dodging like me and everything. Knock your ass out the window. Pretty much feel like Wolverine from X-Men just slashing him to death with these claws. Well, he's evading pretty well, though. Ah, oh, come on. I noticed the bosses also take a lot of damage each damn hit. Like, some of the damage is just overpowering. For some odd reason, I think I put the game on hard difficulty for all the hell I know, and I didn't notice, probably. Oh, well. Oh, 
Just gotta dodge a little more, I guess. That's all. Wow. <laughs> Three hits around there, I think it was, and I just completely died. Try that again. All right, the load screen took a tiny bit now. Slash into death. Yes. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> so close. Well the bosses are very overpowering. And for somebody that is still getting used to the Wii U control for this game. See look at that. That's just insane. You got like a level 99 weapon. Just slashing right through my attacks. Okay. Gotta be on the more offensive side. Okay, got him. Yes. I was like, damn it. The attacks are just taking too much damage out of me. Well, so far the beginning had additional enemies. The bosses were 10 times harder than the Ninja Gaiden 3 PS3 version. This is for the Wii U, by the way, those of you that didn't know that are like, I thought Razor's Edge was for PS3 and Xbox 360. No, it's for the Nintendo Wii U. And it's pretty badass so far and challenging also so check out my brother's channel by the way he just started a new walkthrough of call of duty with the elgato hd capture and if you compare his old videos to that video you would see a huge, humongous difference in quality and even the commentary sounds a lot different in an awesome way, by the way. So I'm trying to get out of here. I noticed that his arm, the aura of his arm, it's a lot more blood and everything also. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this walkthrough slash review. If you have any more questions just inbox me and i will let you all know i just started playing this right now so if you guys ask me oh do you know what happens and the characters you unlock when do you unlock them i don't know exactly so i will let you know after probably a few hours but other than that i hope you all enjoy shout out to all my subs i love you all I appreciate all the inboxes that I got this morning. It was a lot of positive feedback and I enjoyed it a lot. Thank you all for that. Thank you all for watching, liking, commenting, and just being very positive. Like, I appreciate each and every one of you and I love you all for that. And that's honestly coming from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> well. I'm going to keep working on Razor's Edge after this review because for the simple fact that I'm just loving the quality and the challenge and everything else and hopefully I don't die as much as the review but by the time I show the next walkthrough you'll see a, probably a big difference the weapons will probably be upgraded and everything and I can give the enemies a better fight. 
Because I think the boss enemies, honestly, they probably have like a level 5 or a level 10 weapon. I don't know what's the max level for the weapons, but I will also let you all know that also. Well, the Warriors of Rochi 3 Hyper um, special video that I will be working on. It will probably be out tomorrow night. Just to let everybody know. So, thank you all for watching this Dark Monster Moon 87, and I'm out.